Hello students, today we're going to continue um, on 9.4.5 and that it's related to 9.4. Um, so, but now we're going to be dilating and compressing our um, figures by a rational ratio. Okay, so in here it says dilate by a factor of one, one over three or one third. And so the easiest way is that if you have the point, you're going to align the each vertex to that point. Some people have started drawing the lines to each vertex to make it easier and see uh, what was happening. Or you can just use a straight edge and count. Okay, what's the distance? And I'm not using the measurements, okay? We don't look at the measurements on the straight edge. We look at the spaces between the vertex and the point uh, of dilation. And so in here, we see that it's one, two, three spaces. So what is one third of three? Well, it's one. So from that point, we count one and we draw our new vertex. We do the same thing for the other and we can see that diagonal, diagonally, we can count one, two, three spaces. So one third of that is one again, so I'm counting from the point of dilation, we count one space. And you can start connecting those two, so that becomes that line right here. We do the same thing for the other vertex. Okay, align it to the point of dilation, and so we count one, two, three, four, five, six, and one third of six is two, so we count one, two, that's, this vertex becomes this right here, and again, you can connect those two points, so, right there. And now, we go to the next one, again in here, we have three, so one third of three is one, so count one and connect it to the other one. Then the distance in here, this is a little bit more tricky because if you can see, it's diagonal between two squares. So this is one, two, three, okay? So one third of all of that is gonna be the diagonal between, oops, I shouldn't have drawn that. Um, let me erase it, sorry. So this is the distance once, twice, three times. So you only take one, okay? And you connect it to the previous point because it's connected here so that that line becomes this line right here. The next one is this vertex. And again, you count how many spaces? One, two, three. One third of that distance is only one. So that's that vertex. And you connect it. That's that side. Then we have this vertex. And the distance between that vertex and the point of dilation is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one third of six is two. So we connect those as well. And finally, we already looked for that one and we have that one. So that line becomes this right here. So this is how you find, somebody in class asked, so how come if we're dilating, it becomes smaller? And I said, 
any time that your number or your factor is smaller than one, the shape, the new shape, the dilated shape is going to be smaller than the original. When the factor is one, then you will get the same figure. And when it's bigger, the factor is bigger than one, then that's when your shape is gonna be bigger than your original. Um, one thing that you can notice is that all the angles are congruent from the original and the new shape when you're doing a dilation, okay? Okay, so let's do another one. And so in here it says, dilate by a factor of 1.5. And so 1.5, it says, you're gonna dilate it by one and half more, okay? So basically, we're gonna be doing the same thing. And this is tricky because um, for some people, it's hard to picture one and one half. So in here, we have two spaces from the point to the vertex. So it's gonna be one, two. And so we're gonna add half of that. Because in here is one, once the dilation, but then we need another half. And what is half of two? One. So we add one more and that's the new vertex right there. So it's one and a half. Once and half of that. In here, well, from here to here is, you know, kind of like two corners or two squares from corner to corner. And then the same thing here. And so you need half of that will be only one of those. So we add it in here and this will be the new vertex. For this one right here, the distance is two. So we add half of that, which is one. So the new vertex is going to be here. For this next one, we have, again, kind of like two squares together from corner to corner, two squares together from corner to corner. So since I have it twice, I'm gonna do it once. So it's gonna be right here. Again, half of this is right here. So basically you're adding that part here. That's my new vertex. Okay, then I have this other. And again, it's from here to here. And then from here to here, that's half. So that's what I'm gonna be adding to make it one and half of that. So in here we have one and then half of that. In here, one and half of that added. And the same for the other ones. Now, the, let's do the last point. So, here is half of it. So, that's what we're going to add in here. So, it goes to this point. Again, I'm adding half of that to make it one and a half. One and a half. One and one half. Okay, and now I just connect my new vertices of the dilated figure about that point. Okay. And that's gonna be our new dilated figure. And so when would you use dilations? 
well um, when we're cutting pictures I mean making a presentation and we need from big pictures we need smaller versions so that we can put on our posters also somebody said in engineering sometimes they start making the diagrams in almost like big tables or um, in butcher paper and then they they have to reduce the pictures to paper size um, so those are some applications that you would where you would use also um, when we want a picture a portrait uh, sometimes we want smaller ones and so that's what we use sometimes we want it wallet size pictures then you're reducing them okay so in here we have a compression it says compress horizontally by a factor of one third and it's going to be about that point so remember that if we're doing it horizontally then we need to draw a vertical line through the point okay so we're gonna draw a line here and it says by a factor of one third that means that all my points are going to get closer to that line by cutting everything into one third so let's start with this one that point is right on the line so that means that one third of zero because there are zero spaces between that point and the line is zero so it's just going to stay there this point um, the distance is three so one third of three is one so I'm gonna get it in there now so that's the new vertex this one right here is one two three four five six since it's six one third of six is two so I'm gonna put it right there this one is right where it is because it's on top of the line again it doesn't move it's zero spaces away so that's it stays there this one is three spaces away one third of three is one so it will go right there this one is the same thing three spaces away from the line so it's gonna move to one because one is one third of three this point is one two three four five six one third of six is two so we count one two and that's where it's my new point so now i'm ready to trace it and so i go like this Mm, you can notice that this goes up, so this is going to go up as well. And then it goes down, but it's going to go down to its new position. And then this connected, so these are gonna, going to connect. And finally this. So that's the new compressed picture. Um, and with this now you will be able to do 9.4.5 have fun